Hey guys, this is Damon from TryDisplay.com. And you know, I wasn't going to give a Madden 20 beta review. I, I enjoyed the game. It was great. But everybody keeps hitting me up. Yo, you're 19 and 0. Yo, you beat your mama. Yo, you beat all these people. We saw you at EA Play. Well, look, I'm going to break it down to you guys. For all the people who want to know exactly what I believe about the game, I believe that, you know, it's just a different game. And that's the reason why there's all this negativity around it. But I'm going to tell you it's probably the best Madden yet. I'm going to tell you that all this cool stuff that they put in the game just makes it better. It makes more to learn, more to play. I loved it. And yes, I was killing people because I did find some exploits early. Uh, I didn't really want to do this review because I didn't want to explain the things that I noticed. But I noticed that if you're a good defensive player, this game is going to be good for you. I was able to make adjustments. It, it was For me, it was intuitive. I've been playing Madden my entire life. And that's why at TryDisplay.com, we want to share the things that we think work. And this game, I felt the defense was amazing. But on the other other side of the coin, when you came out in a stock D, like if you came out in a stock cover two, there was no pass rush, and you could literally dot the guy up. I mean, the zones just, they didn't, they didn't cover that well. Um, but that's because you're expecting them to do some miracle work. You know, as soon as I realized that right away, in my very first game versus your mom, I watched him move the ball. I think the guy was like four for four. He was looking great against me. I immediately said, okay, I know what he's trying to do. He's running Madden 19, 19 plays. I know where the routes are going. I can clearly know where they're going. I'm, I understand the game very well. I just got to see what would stop those routes. So I started making some adjustments, and I realized that when you adjust the player, he will play very, very well. I also realized that the blitz comes in super fast. So set up a blitz. Like, guys, you need to bring heat this year. I was playing with the Patriots, and no one sheds a block on this team. So if you let these guys sit in zone, if the zones are bad and, you know, all of a sudden there's no pressure coming in, yeah, you give the guy time, and eventually people get open, especially if he's got a really good play from last year because I felt like the offense was very similar to last year. So what I did was I immediately made adjustments to put a guy in a zone to stop the route I thought he was going to run, and at the same time, I brought heat. So maybe I had to commit too many people. Maybe I had to commit five. I had to blitz six. But the pressure comes. And really, once the guy gets in clean, you know, he's going to sack your quarterback. They're not going to have time to make those throws. So the game is different than last year because you don't have such good coverage as last year. And last year, the, they, they picked up the blitz really well. This year, they don't pick up the blitz really well. This well, the blitz is coming hot. So you're going to have to restructure your thinking in the game. You're going to have to play more of a game where you're bringing pressure. And you have to mix it up because your mama was no joke. And a lot of these guys I played afterwards were no joke. I played coach. I played some great players. And what I learned when I was playing great players is immediately if you... If you're sacking them on the right, they will block it. So you have to mix it up really, really well and bring blitzes from both ends. What I did like about this game was I saw A-gap blitzes. I saw blitzes from both edges. I saw B-gap blitzes, which really made me feel like they brought the blitz back, which made me feel great. So I was out there trying to blitz every single down. And as you guys know, in my first six games, I didn't give up a touchdown. In my seventh game, I gave up a touchdown. And really, I'll tell you how it happened, guys. The guy hit me with a, a receiver of screen. I, I didn't see it coming. And how he made it all the way to the house, nobody knows. But he did. So he scored. But you know what? After I saw that coming, when I played that same opponent, I covered that. I sort of manning that guy up. And the man played really well, by the way. And as long as you're bringing pressure, the man will stay with the guy long enough to shut him down. So my opinion on the game as far as everybody complaining about the zones, I think the zones are good enough if you're good enough to adjust. I think the stock Ds, they're, you know, obviously not that good. Uh, I heard rumors that EA sets the to sets it really low, and as the game progresses, they, they up the zones. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, as far as the speeds of the players, I thought it was great because 96 speed guys weren't beating people deep. I didn't get a chance to play against Tyree Kill because nobody used that team against me. But um, I did play some teams that had some 96 speed receivers and they did not uh, get past my safeties. Even when I ran a cover two and they split them, the safeties seemed to make a really good play on the ball. Uh, the click on is extremely important. If you could click on and you could use it, you could make amazing plays. I probably had more picks 
in um, the few games I played opposed to maybe last year if I would have played say 10 games. The reason why because you were able to click on and you were really able to make the play but you're going to have to have that user skill and I think that is great because that's going to separate the pros from the Joes because right now the way I feel is they, a lot of these great players were putting great plays on me and I got to admit for a minute I, 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 thought, I thought they got me but I clicked on and I realized that this year the ball travels a little slower. It gives you more reaction time, and it gives you the time to get to the play, break it up, or make a pick. And it actually felt, for a new game, I was able to make the decision right away, hey, go up for the pick, or go for the swat, or this guy's clearly going to catch this, let's try to hit stick him right away. Um, where I, I felt like, you know, in other games, when the game first came out, you know, I was just, you know, hitting Y and, and hitting SWAT every time. And, you know, I would actually, the first week of the game would say, is it better to hit SWAT or is it better to, you know, try to go for the pick? This game, you could really judge because the ball is traveling slower. I felt like short plays, the quarterbacks were, all, were money. I felt like mid plays, some of them were, some passes were a little wild. Uh, and I was playing with Tom Brady too. But I felt like deep, it was really hard to throw deep. Um, you have to make sure that that guy's open. Um, I didn't have enough time to work on offense enough to really talk a lot about it. But I could tell you that um, when these guys heat up, I mean, it, it, it is pretty special. Um, and I, I really did like that about the game. I did like that even though it worked against me sometimes. A lot of people play with the Rams and, and they were getting a lot of shed block. Um, I did like it though. I, I made made the game more fun. I think EA they must have worked so hard on this game. I give these guys so much credit. They really went out and made a great game. Everything from the animations was great. The way the play is played, the way the play is moved, how smooth it was, the timing. You know, um, I loved everything about it. Um, and as far as uh, EA play, just let me say, what an amazing job. What a great day. I mean, hey, you guys got to come back next year. Bring your family. Bring your friends. This was such a great time. Thank you so much, EA. I really appreciate that opportunity. I also appreciate the opportunity that you gave us the beta codes, which was such a great experience that we got to play the game for two days. And um, this is my opinion. Uh, I wish you guys all the best.